Wait, guys, you're you're broken on Discord. So underhanded about this. Um, so chat. Hi, everybody. So, um. UA and I has the same sentiments of help right now. Uh, I guess Wudgie too. But uh, you see, there's a problem. Chat, you're spared of what shenanigans are happening in the VC. Because for some reason, Discord isn't going through OBS. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to figure it out. Nothing. I literally oh, did I that. Nine, I, fixed I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Put it down, Nine. It. Put it down. Get your hands dirty. Just go in. Oh my god. <laughs> I fixed so, it. There. Now she, everything yeah. can be heard. Now you may continue this conversation for the next five minutes as like the intro. Well, I go get water. Oh, hey, hey guys. Shout out oh to. Oh my god. So, yeah. Shout out to the Brit. <laughs> Shout out to the Brit UA with this one. You guys are being a real dab hand about all of this. Yes, you might get it. You might get it. It's hey, hey no. Dan. He, uh, left, he, left, left. he left. He left. He left. <laughs> hey, hey Dan. <sighs> no about his What? 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 Did you say low balls huh? awful? I said nobody's laughing. <laughs> well, Megan just laughed. Yeah. He laughed at Why? his own joke. That doesn't count. Oh. Well, who else is supposed to laugh at him? Oh, you're laughing Her? at him. Okay. See, that's even worse, Dan. Actually, no, no that makes me feel better. <laughs> Look, knowing firsthand that Mega's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm an enabler. Oh, you're an enigma. So, anyways, while nine's gone, let's go read a uh, steel ball run. Look, look, mega and yeah, enabling. Yeah, steel ball run. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, guys, mega and enabling go hand in hand. See, I just had to yeah. wait a second. The, the yes. joke was bad, but the And now that the joke has been golden. passed, we can load the content. I have no idea I'm what happened ducks. in the span of like the few oh, little we just bits I was out. Ones, really. But we can start the content now. Yippee. You're actually being UA, UA, get out of here. There's no free handouts here. Yeah, get out of here. Wow. <laughs> we are having fun. We're having, are we? Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I, I don't remember what fun is like. Wait, Dan, Dan. No. Da what? No, Dan. Dan, what? I need what? you <laughs> Before what? you do anything, Dan, I need you to do something for me. What? I need you to say this. <clears throat> Greetings, and welcome to London. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> That's it. Welcome to court. <laughs> What'd you do? I'm trying to break any. Hey, if you don't break it, I will. Me too. Really, you had to. <laughs> Why do you keep using voice mod? Your voice cuts in and out. I never understand you. Because I, I want to do the cool little thoughts, okay? <laughs> I thought I could do the you know, I understand. Have you adjusted right your right settings, on? maybe? It never works. I don't know why it never works. It just never works. Don't worry, it's not going to be permanent. It's just for real. It just doesn't really, work. Really, you had to mention London. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Seven years. Seven years. All leading to one verdict. Man, I can't believe Great Ace Attorney took place seven years ago. That's crazy. A verdict which you now must decide. Is the defendant Vera Misham? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> he like pulls up a paper, reads the script. Uh, Drew. Vera Drew. Is the defendant Vera Drew innocent or guilty? The courtroom doors are opening. The trial awaits. Are you ready to begin? Nice sound. Click it. Click it. Push the funny button. I'm not ready to begin. Hold up. <laughs> all right. I'm not ready. How dare you all assume that I'm ready, Phoenix? I, yeah, I want I you to like understand. You to tell her Sometimes to I'm just not ready. Tell. 
She was like, I, I don't know. Click what should it. I do? Click you, may it. Not, you may not be ready, Nine, but the world's going to keep on turning. So you better be ready real soon. Well, you're in a game. You have all the time in the world. So because I'm controlling you, I have all the time in the world as it well. Bothers, it bothers me that that second spinning row of ones are backwards. What do you mean? We're back, just looking back, from the inside. Backwards ones. No, the other ones are fine. It's just that one and the bottom two one. Ro two rows down. Yeah, we're looking from the ins like it, it was. No, right they're from backwards. The no, but like from, they're from wrong. the outside. <laughs> the numbers are wrong. If you, if you were outside the sphere. Okay, I'm ready now. You wait, you see what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, I know, but if you were outside wait, the sphere, I'm not ready. Look I don't have my right. water. Where is it? Oh my god. Something inside. Oh, okay. All right. It's just going without her. All right. The dog is barking at me. What an Christoph, open. why are you barking? I found my water. I got it. I got. Oh, I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, you weren't able to. You weren't able to. Oh, I'm lost. Oh no. All right. Chat. I, mean, I lost something important. It was my bottle of water. It's. Fine. It's it's so we go back. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Oh, go back. It's a time, go code. Back. time code. It's a time code. You can't. What are you doing? Alt F4. Go Alt back. Alt F4. Undo. Alt F4. Undo. Wait, no. I don't want to save. <laughs> save. Why are we freaking save the game. out over this? Save the game. All right. Hey, everyone. Take a chill pill. Ooh. Like, seriously. Wait. That never happened before. Can, can everyone please yeah, breathe you, in and breathe out or something? This whole time, remember? No, I have to cause as much anxiety as I can. You've never had to reset. <laughs> of all the cheating you do. This is our last case. Can we please try to not no. get all excited about it? No. And not no. give everybody a headache, namely me, because if I have a headache, then I'm going to hate every single one of you. But you already do. <laughs> I'll hate y'all even more. Oh my goodness, everyone. We missed three lines of dialogue. Freak out. Benny's saying all this with Phoenix's right here. <laughs> he's, looking at, he's looking at the jurors who decided to sleep in. Uh, welcome to London. <laughs> well, you just, you just go on. As I was saying, welcome to London. Seven years, <laughs> all leading to one singular verdict. A verdict which you Londoners must decide. Is the defendant, Vera Drew, Innocent or guilty or Irish. Oh. The courtroom doors are opening. The trial awaits. Are you ready to begin, me boy? Can't use that word. Yes, I can. You can. Yes, I can. You didn't patent it. I didn't give you the pass. You just went no clip into the Berenstain universe. Inside me, rising, surfacing. Boy, something important. It's long ago. It's close now. How close? I left the stove far. on. <laughs> October 9th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Oh, I thought you actually left the stove on. Court is now in session for the trial of Vera Drew. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecutions ready to rock. Prosecutor Gavin, how is the defense uh, uh, Vera Drew's condition? Acute, actual, repeat the word you there. Actual quinine. Acute actual quinine poisoning, according to her physician. She could die at any time. Thus, her absence from the courtroom today. What? I can't put her on trial without her being here. It is unusual. We should wait for her to get better and do it then. It's so... Bureaucratic. Bure bureaucratic. Bure bure bureaucratic of them. Bur bur That's, That's a being a word. little harsh. 
They can't delay the trial any longer. Or they risk having no one left to try. A trial without a verdict can only cause grief. The records of this case and experience tell us this. Apologies to the defendant, but the show must go on. Right. If Vera dies, the trial will be cancelled. Mm. I'm not gonna let that happen. Mr. Wright told me everything that's going on behind the curtain all these years. I'm gonna get Vera her innocent verdict while there's still time. Very well. Your opening statement, Prosecutor Gavin. The, pro <clears throat> the prosecution's case is unchanged by recent events. Why did Vera Misham succumb to poison? Because she couldn't live with the guilt of what she'd done. Objection! Objection! But Vera was poisoned with azraquinine! The exact same poison that took her father's life! <clears throat> what better confession could you ask for? Being the killer, she would have ac had access to the poison. Significant, since it's rather hard to come by. Mm, that is true. In other words, I see no need for further discussion. We could have had our verdict yesterday. Well, Mr. Justice, if you have no objections, I see no reason to postpone a verdict. All we need to worry about isn't the verdict, but the trial itself. The defense holds that Vera Misham is the victim, not the killer. If that is so, then you have to prove something, Herr Forehead. She was in court giving her testimony before us. I died or not. Bleh. How do you propose her killer poisoned her? Oh, and incidentally, it would be nice if you told us who her mystery killer was. The prosecution's objective, objection is sustained. I ask the defense to prove its claims to this court. Tell us how Vera, Mish Vera Drew was poisoned. I've got two things to prove here. Who did it and how? Which to hit first? Just who poisoned Vera Misham? I have a name for you. Just a moment, Herr Forehead. You are aware that this is an accusation that you are making. I think a bit of risk is in order. This much to be precise. I understand. No problem. I know what I'm doing this time. Then let's hear it. Who poisoned Vera Drew? So, um... So, Apollo, I know you have, like, very much uh, things to think about right now, so I'm gonna give you all the time in the world to think about it. I just gotta run and get my Mr. Hex, I forgot. So, how about them cowboys? Hmm, did somebody yeah, say cowboys? The season hasn't started yet! Christoph Gavin? Objection! What's your game here, Justice? My bro, there's no way he could do a thing like that. You should know that better than anyone else. Um. Indeed. Um. Keep going. Uh. <laughs> he is behind bars. I know. However. That doesn't mean it was impossible to do what he did. What? Krushtoff Gavin had the opportunity to poison Vera Misham. Apparently, the defense has something in mind. Let's see what it is. How did Krushtoff Gavin, currently in solitary confinement, poison her? Take that! Take that! 
what's this? My, what a beautiful bottle. I'd like to give whoever designed that a hat. <laughs> Is that nail polish? Hmm. It's colorless. <laughs> Something the matter? N no, nothing. It was nothing at all. So the killer put poison in this bottle and made her drink it? As Prosecutor Gavin has told us, this is nail polish. Nail polish? It's like paint for nails. Know any women with red nails? Ah, oh, my wife has red nails! I see. So she's been painting them all this time. Let's recall yesterday's trial. Remember when Vera was testifying to the court? Court is now back in session. Vera seems pretty tense. She's practically chewing her fingernails clean off. Whenever Vera became nervous, she had a habit of biting her nails. Her nails? Oh! Prosecutor Gavin? When the prosecution had Vera examined, did they check her nails? Uh, I... Uh, well... I... Bailiff! Have them check the defense nails at once! Christoph Gavin didn't have to poison that bottle the day of the poisoning, Your Honor. The moment Vera first held that bottle in her hand, her fate was sealed. But wait! This business about Christoph Gavin giving her that bottle is only conjecture. It's simply inconceivable! Prosecutor Gavin doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> that face tells me one thing. Christoph Gavin's own younger brother doesn't find it inconceivable at all. <clears throat> well, Prosecutor Gavin, Do you feel there's a clear and pressing need? Then we may have to summon Christoph Gavin from jail as a special witness. Fine. I've known for some time that an impenetrable darkness lurked at the bottom of this. A darkness that has swallowed even myself. Okay. The defense's wish is granted. Let prisoner Christoph Gavin take the stand. Mega, Lozu, are there one, one, are there you want to take the judge? Uh, Megan can do it. Okay. Bailiff, begin proceedings to call a special witness. The witness is Christoph Gavin, currently residing in solitary cell 13 at Central Prison. There he is. Funny man. Ah, your honor. How nice to see you again. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? <clears throat> it's not every day I'm summoned from my solitary cell. In fact, it's never. I think you already know, Mr. Christoph Gavin. Ah, Mr. Justice. I hear you've been doing quite well for yourself. Uh, why do I feel like somehow he's still my boss? Step up for a lip, Apollo. You can do it. Does this bottle look familiar? Ariadne nail polish. Why, yes, I use it myself. As did the late defendant, I hear. She's not dead yet. <laughs> and... Was there something concerning this bottle you wished to ask me about? I admit, I respect her for her taste in nail polish. Her taste, indeed! This nail polish was... was how Vera Mission was poisoned! Atroquinine, was it? You're well informed about the case, Mr. Gavin. Even in solitary, much comes to my desk, and I have nothing to do but to read. Well, Clavier? <laughs> Maybe you can explain this? <clears throat> Your Honor.
You're being accused again. By him. Again. Ah, oh, again. And you agree with this accusation, do you? <laughs> Let's hold a proper trial, shall we? Christoph Gavin, your testimony, please. I'd be delighted. The charges against you are quite severe, Mr. Gavin. You're suspected of the poisoning of the defendant, Vera Misham. I mean, Vera Drew. Please testify to the ma on this matter to the court. Poisoning, Vera. Owning the same nail polish does not a murderer make. Ah, oh, I love that line. I have been in solitary confinement for half a year. How could I poison her? Her father died of the same poison, the meaning of which should be clear. The prosecution's case holds. She poisoned her father and then attempted to poison herself. Surely you aren't going to suggest that I was responsible for poisoning her father too. Well, I'm afraid the defense's claim is sounding rather unlikely. Naturally. For one, I don't even know the Druze. Isn't that so, Mr. Justice? <laughs> Very well, Mr. Justice, begin your cross-examination. I'm accusing Christoph Gavin, my ex-boss. But I know he poisoned the missions. The question is, when could he have done it? Not to mention, why? Didn't you already say that? Hold it! Hold it! Tell me, is this nail polish expensive? Ariadne is a nail polish of the highest order. Not only is it fabulously expensive, but it is made in extremely limited quantities. And you, and you and Vera just happen to both use it? That can't be a coincidence! Objection! I'm guessing it is not a coincidence. Huh? Point simple. Ariadne is the best nail polish one can buy, correct? Then, if one wanted the best nail polish, one would buy it. That makes sense! Why, it's a bit like my feelings towards my brand name Gavel here! And my silk top hat! Are we all done showing off her refined tastes? <laughs> what do you have, Apollo? Please, continue with your tasteful testimony. Um, my name brand suit, I guess. But didn't you get that from the Goodwill store? No, I didn't. I got it from Brooks. Isn't that a Goodwill store? No, that's a famous <laughs> a suit store. Oh, the suit section in the Goodwill store. I get it. I'm not going to bother her. Hold it! Can you still make contact with the outside world in solitary? Objection! Ah, so he had an accomplice on the outside. Is this your latest accusation? I am allowed a certain modicum of letter writing. Objection! But the contents of those letters are closely checked. It would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to send a hit request. Prosecutor Cabin's on the warpath, isn't he? Yeah, I think so too, Trucy. That was thunder. I don't know if any of you heard it, but I just heard thunder <laughs> to my left. Hmm. Well, according to the uh, Norse mythology and Thor, um, you know, I can, I can bet I know why. You must be nervous with Big Brother watching. Hmm. And maybe that's a weakness I can turn to my advantage. Are we cool with that? Are we cool yet? May I continue? <laughs> Are we cool yet? Ch chat, am I a cool character? Please am like I this video cool? if you think so. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, guys, imagine Kristoff like, like... comment, and subscribe, <laughs> Justice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I can imagine, like, like, you know, he's reading, but then he got bored all of a sudden. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna do what Clavia has done. And then he gets, he's managed to get, like, a phone or something and starts streaming from his cell. 
<laughs> Hello, Hello, everybody. Christoph. I did not expect you to take to streaming so well. I must say, it is a good idea considering you share the same face as me. Christoph starts a TikTok account. Yeah, and then the reason well, why he gets I'm so no many... longer... oh, Well, I am disbarred now. I should look for other more lucrative opportunities. <laughs> Just because one is in solitary does not mean one cannot do their best. And then the reason why he gets so many views is, is because of you know the same face with Clavier. So everyone's like subscribed to like, oh my gosh, guys, it's Clavier! It's Clavier! And Christoph has to go with the bit. <laughs> he goes with the bit. There's like a selfie of Christoph and he said, just got accused of poisoning someone. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, imagine if we got the bad ending where Vera dies, right? It's like that one meme of the guy taking like a selfie with like the pose in front of the tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> it's in front of Vera's tombstone. But, but in the good ending, Kristoff will be like, if I may, he takes a selfie like in the court, like with like Clavier, Apollo, the judge, and the hashtag being like, um, uh, God, God's prank, because like you would see Clavier in the background. <laughs> It was just a prank, bro. I, I was never Clavier all along. Oh, by the way, I've been accused of murder. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. Hold it! How quaint. Shut up, quaint. The defendant is not yet dead. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, they're not dead. <sighs> there are no known cases of someone surviving actual quinine poisoning. You seem to know a lot about her quinine. <laughs> I know a lot about a lot of things. Like the analytics of my youth of TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Justice, if you subscribed to my channel, you would have seen my video about how poisoning is I not actually that big of a, a deal. Of a murder. <laughs> oh, come now, Herr Forehead. I subscribed myself. He has many informative things to teach you. I'm working nice. on a video right now about how murder is actually not that bad, all things just, considered. <laughs> just because he is not your boss anymore does not mean you cannot still learn from him. Unlike that ridiculous mentor you currently call your teacher. At least he's not a murderer. <laughs> Either way, I'm looking for viewer retention, so which is, that's why I suggest we pick up the pace. <laughs> Or else you'll be sure one defendant for what she's worth. I I love the idea of the main villain being this narcissistic content creator. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the uh, witness will refrain from speaking ill of the ill. Mega, just wait till Spirit of Justice, buddy. Uh oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> uh, my apologies. Shall I continue? Christoph part two. Vera had no reason to want to commit suicide. And also, who would commit suicide by doing their nails? Objection! <laughs> that, that's a pretty funny line. <laughs> the answer is quite simple, actually. Basically. Allow me to explain. Beginning with, why did she do it? The answer is quite simple. She couldn't live with her own guilt. Seems like his honor is hungry for chips. That wasn't me. Next, why does she use nail polish to poison herself? This too is simple. She could die doing something that she liked. Something that she liked? Once she saw that the trial wasn't going her way, she knew she would die. And it's not easy to bring poison into a courtroom. Must I explain further? Mm, I believe that's clear enough, crystal clear. Wow! Two brothers together is like a two-man wrecking team! It could use a little more teamwork, though. Hmm, I wonder if they did a collab before on TikTok. I hope not. Surely. M Mr. Gavin, uh, did, did you guys collab with TikTok? Which Mr. Gavin do you refer to? Uh, I guess both. Because, you know, collab with both of you. Mm, I, I need a wide reach, don't you know? Christoph says, no, I use kick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that makes well, sense. <laughs> Kickstart my rap career. Christoph <sighs> and I did a bit of a sponsorship. My bracelet. Oh, a sponsor? Uh, wait, what's a Press. sponsor? Hmm. 
I'm trying to recall the name. name. Uh, I cannot recall, but see, the sponsor's name himself, the one who came to us, was it a Mr. Rettins, a Mr. Roger Rettins? Ah, my bracelet reacted to that. He's lying, Trucy. Hold it! Rettins? Both Vera and Mr. Misham were poisoned by actual quinine. That really can't be a coincidence. Objection! To the fans, they're repeating fallacious statements based on conjecture and nothing more than conjecture. The prosecution requests concrete, unambiguous proof of the witness's crime. Oh, uh, okay. The defense will please present concrete proof. Does Prosecutor Gavin seem strange to you? It's like he's all... <clears throat> it's like he's all grown up. I think that's how prosecutors are supposed to be, actually. Oh, he is acting different than usual. I'll bet it has a lot to do with his brother, Kristoff, being in the room. Well, let's make this testimony count, Apollo! Right. Quick and painless. My bracelet should do the trick. Hey, quick and... Polly, we've just been spending, like, already ten minutes on it. I mean, I think we got some valuable information, like how Kristoff is a TikToker. And Clavier okay. is on kick. Questioning my ex-boss. His testimony seems watertight, but he's lying. I'm sure I'll be able to see something. As long as I focus. No, I can. I, he's lying about something, and then he does the bracelet. That's right, Kristoff. You don't truly own Wait, a TikTok. Kristoff, <laughs> you're the one that uses kick. <laughs> Angry eyes. Ooh. Whoa. The devil in the form of a hand. That's kind of creepy. I uh... Gotcha! Okay, now gotcha! we get it. It was you who killed Drew Misham. Your hand says so. A bluff worthy of your new mentor, Mr. Wright. Oh, really? But you see, I saw it! Right when you said, her father too! Your hand tints unnaturally, and a little devil appeared to give me the news. <laughs> and? Let's assume for the sake of argument that you saw me being tense. What does that mean? Are all tense witnesses guilty? And tell me, was Joey Drew fond of nail polish too? Sorry, but there's more than one way to poison a man. You don't need nail polish to get, to get to someone's mouth. <sighs> then I must be very talented indeed. You see, Joey Drew was killed on October 6th. Well, I was already in my solitary confinement cell at Central Prison. If that's not an alibi, then I don't know what is. But you found a way, all the same. And I found it, too. Mm -hmm. This is how you poison Mr. Misham. Take that! Take that! I'm sure this commemorative stamp requires no introduction. <sighs> the night Mr. Misham died, he was seen writing a letter. After a quinine was found on this stamp, Mr. Gavin. So am I to understand that this stab was the murder weapon? Yes, you are. Oh, and yes. <laughs> oh, and yes, you're guilty. This stamp was found in your prison cell! <laughs> that is all, Your Honor. Cool. Order! 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 P poison on the back of that stamp! After Drew Mission was killed, someone paid a visit to this witness's cell. Phoenix Wright. Daddy? Ace Attorney. That's when he found the stamp. You made Drew Mission write you a letter! That's how you killed him! Uh, what? My, my. 
You've upset my poor brother to the point of uselessness. Ouch. Allow me to clarify this matter, Justice. All you need to do is recall Witness Spark Brushel's testimony. Well, that's the thing, see? I see he put his letter in that envelope. Didn't Mega Thank voice Brushel? He did. Uh, in this trial, at least. Okay. No, I'm not doing it. My submission sat there searching his desk drawer for something. His desk drawer? Yes, a stamp! A so-called postage stamp, end quote. He was looking for a stamp. Ergo, he had no intention of using this stamp. What are you getting at? What I'm arriving at is that this commemorative stamp was in a frame. It was mere coincidence that he used it that night. That would seem to be the case. Or perhaps you mean to suggest that I can somehow manipulate coincidence? He does have a point. How would this witness know if the victim was going to use that stamp? Without that, he couldn't have planned the murder. What? Really, Clavier? You should be seeing through these weeks weak spined bluffs by now? <clears throat> He's right, though. How could anyone have known Mr. Mission would use that stamp that night? At least of all, Christoph Gavin locked away in his cell. Well... It seems that the defense has run out of things to say. You assume he had something to say in the first place. I believe the defense's bluff has been caught. The defense's bluff? I'm not sure I agree with you there, bro. <laughs> Clavia? Honestly, I wanted to believe you. But the defense wasn't trying to get away with a bluff. You were, Christoph. What are you saying? Prosecutor Garvin! Hair forehead. What was your ac accusation again? Huh? Uh, oh, it was that... This poison stamp killed Joy Drew, yeah? To which my brother responded thusly. There was no way to know when Joey Drew would use the stamp. Yes, that's right. Which is why it couldn't have been planned. <clears throat> Tell me. It needs to be planned. Why? Ah. Uh, um... Why couldn't it have been a coincidence? There is no such thing as a coincidence. The defense's case is simply that Joey Drew died by that stamp. That is all. Coincidence. Christoph, you tried to slip out from under his accusation by changing the subject. If that's not bluffing, then what is? What are you up to, Clavier? I could ask you the same question, Christoph. <laughs> I silenced the defense with the fewest words possible. It's called efficiency. But, 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 but Mr. Gavin, that's in impermissible testimony. Very well. I shall take his claim head on then. Justice. Oh, what? You accuse me of Joey Drew's murder, yes? Then allow me to ask you, what possible reason could I have to kill the painter? Apollo! Motive! He's talking about motive! Hmm, <laughs> indeed. It's that thing! It's hard to see how an attorney could come to want to kill a painter. Now here's something. Why didn't he bring up the motive from the very beginning? Unless he was afraid it was a battle he might lose. So, what does it mean? It means there might be a weak spot. Maybe I have some evidence to prove a motive. A motive for murder. 
This is a vital, if not the most vital element in this case. Please consider this when making your statement. I'd say it's about this vital. That's pretty vital. Well, Mr. Justice. I'm going through with this no matter what. Understood, Your Honor. I'd like to present evidence. Then let's see what you have for us. What reason did Christoph Gavin have for wanting to murder Joey Drew? Take that! Take that! Christoph Gavin's motive becomes clear when we consider why the stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. And why was that? Forgery, Your Honor. Go back seven years. Drew Misham accepts his first job creating forged evidence. I've seen that before. A page from a diary, wasn't it? Magnify Grammarly's diary. <sighs> when Attorney Phoenix Wright lost his badge, yes. This was the evidence he presented to his loss. This evidence is a fake, yes. But did Mr. Wright request a forgery be made? That was never proven. Objection! Ob objection! The defense attorney on that case was Phoenix Wright. Who other than him drunk with the prospect of victory could have done it? Or why would they? Just out of curiosity. Do you remember this letter? This is the first page. Nope. And this is the second. Those were presented in court yesterday. This letter was sent to Joey Drew by the client who requested forgery. The enclosed stamp was none other than the poison commemorative stamp. Drew Misham drew his last breath just the other day. However, the motive for his murder was already seven years old. Seven years old? The client who requested this forgery was very cautious. He tried to erase anything, and anyone with connections to the forgery. To keep them from talking? <clears throat> but he made a mistake. Favorite magician. I kept them. Mother took me when I was very young. The killer's time bomb was delayed. The poison stamp was sealed within a glass frame, where it sat for seven whole years. Herr Forehead, do you understand the gravity of what you're telling us? No. The one who schemed up the forged diary page was the one who poisoned the stamp. And it was Phoenix Wright who presented the forged evidence seven years ago. Adding the two statements together, the one who schemed to kill Joey Drew <clears throat> was none other than your mentor, Phoenix Wright. Objection! Objection! Sorry, but that's not how this is going to go down. Oh, then how will it go down? I checked through the records on that case when, when I found this. Seven years ago, just before the trial began. Oh, old boy! Um, uh, here. What's this? You don't know. I just got it, got it over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the me boy in the blue suit with the spiky hair. And one more thing. I'm sorry to have sprung this on you so suddenly. I received the file from your previous attorney only yesterday. 
I understand I'm asking the impossible of you. Yes, well, what else is new? But you haven't really told me what happened yet. All we did was play cards. And that was enough. Phoenix Wright was put on the case the day before the trial started. He didn't have time to request a forgery. Uh, the day before? Now here's a question. Just who was Shady Nymar's previous defense attorney? No. This is... This must be a mistake. This... This can't all be. But it is all true. There was another man, a defense attorney with a badge on his collar. It was you, Christoph Gavin! Order! 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 What is the meaning of this witness? I mean, the defendant, a uh, former lawyer? Uh... Let me begin by denying this. Objection! Objection! No! It's easy enough to look up, Mr. Gavin. <laughs> I'll, no. I got you. Let, let, let me begin by I denying this. Objection! No, no you can't! <laughs> You're not allowed. Uh, I can explain. No! And impossible to prove if you can't. Ugh. No! <laughs> Attorneys are registered with a call the day before the trial begins. In other words, no record remains in the court. How exactly did you intend to prove Phoenix Wright's claim? Hmm, that would be difficult. I'm afraid this line of inquiry won't yield. Objection! Objection. Herr Forehead. Are you sure you don't have evidence? Ah. What's wrong with Prosecutor Gavin? He looks clammy. Evidence! Evidence assures that this man, Christoph Gavin, requested that forgery seven years ago. Clavier! Just... just prove it! Clear up these doubts now, or I swear I'm off this case! Must have thought of some evidence, Apollo. Prosecutor Gavin looks like he's in physical pain! That darkness. I have to pull that darkness out of him, and proof is the only way I can. Like, I, I have to say, I have to ask, why on earth does he feel this way? Kristoff was already proven that he committed a murder, <laughs> like... It doesn't really matter what happens in this trial. <laughs> I mean, he has to make day, absolutely sure. At the end of the day, it's still his brother. What proves Christoph Gavin's link to Drew Misham? And this goes beyond a uh, crime of passion like with, uh, Ignib with Ignibmar. Ignibmar. Well, Mr. Justice, you claim Christoph Gavin requested a forgery of Joey Drew seven years ago. Prove it! Prove it right now! It can be proven. <sighs> Simply ridiculous. Why even discuss it? This evidence does not... Objection! Are you telling the truth, Apollo Justice? I am. Zeng, I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Very well, but if you're wrong about this, be prepared for a penalty. Objection! Your Honor, you do the defense an injustice. Mr. Justice is clearly passionate about his claim. Should the penalty not match his passion? I haven't given a penalty like that in a long time. Well, Mr. Justice? Fine, Your Honor. All I have to prove is any kind of link. Something that ties Christoph Gavin to Drew Misham. And I have something that clearly does the job. Mm. Clearly. Very well, Mr. Justice, present your evidence. Show us the link between our witness and Joey. Drew. Take that! Take that! J Joey Salad. This evidence proves there's a link. Objection! Objection! That scrap of 
paper? I'm afraid I can't let you submit that. Is there some problem? There is. How could you possibly have that? You couldn't! Hmm? Hey! That's Daddy's handwriting! Bingy! Mr. Wright's handwriting? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> I see now. Yes, of course! What do you mean, of course? I just remembered I had a visitor yesterday. Phoenix Wright came to my cell, except I wasn't there. Phoenix Wright? When I returned, I saw he had something of mine in his possession. Of course, I had no intention of letting him get away with reading my private mail. Mail? You mean, this letter was in your cell? No. However, it appears Mr. Wright has yet to be cured of his bad forging habit. Well, if it's a forgery, it's not a very good one. The handwriting's terrible. This is Mr. Wright's reproduction of what was written in the letter. Reproduction? Mr. Wright visited Kristoff Gavin's cell. He brought with him a small video camera. What? I don't like that face. I just yeah, don't angry. like that face. Yeah, he's angry. I know yeah, he's angry, You're not supposed to like, like it. I, I don't like he it. He recorded his entire conversation with you, Mr. Gavin. And the contents of your personal mail! For the lols. Regardless! This mockery of a piece of evidence will never be accepted by the court! Evidence based on a video a man with no authority whatsoever claims he took! A man who happens to be an ex-attorney suspected of forgery! Mm, Prosecutor Gavin? <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin? As embarrassing as this is for me to say... I'm afraid my brother is incapable of making rational judgments at the moment. Your Honor, your decision, please. I would rather not stoop to using subway surface to keep the artist's attention. <laughs> oh dear god. People surf in the subway? Why would why would anyone do that? The defense's claim is denied. What? <laughs> The Only actual evidence is permitted in a court of law. Surfing. What'd you say? What? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, did, yeah. I was just following up with the subway surfing joke. The defense's claim is denied on the basis that people don't subway surf. Why would they do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Trains go through there, idiot! <laughs> not people! You're supposed to just... ride in the train car, not on top of it. What are you crazy? I don't even think a person can fit on top of it. You're supposed to surf in the ocean, not in the subway. I'm so infuriated by this line of logic. I'm going to declare a verdict right now. Oh, I'm so angry. Don't oh, do get subway after this. <laughs> <laughs> Please remove. The defense's copy of Subway Surfers from his phone right now! <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time, Justice. He's so I... happy that they removed Subway Surfers. <laughs> I keep that high score and the sponsorship. You will never ah, beat me, Justice. I like that game! <laughs> what am I supposed to play when I'm bored now? Well, we've certainly taken a detour from our cross-examination. What are we talking about again? <laughs> but the defense appears to be lacking proof. Wait, what subway server? Is that proof? No, never mind. I'm forced to end the cross-examination of Christoph Gavin at this point. Apollo, do something! I'm gonna I'm install thinking, Angry Birds. But without evidence? Apollo? I don't have anything I can use on them! Apollo, whatever you do, do not download Angry Birds! No, 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 no. God, no. That's what the judge is about to order you to do. Very well. This ends as a special witness's cross-examination. Objection. Objection. What? 
The show's over, yet the crowd screams for more. Only now do I understand why. Prosecutor Gavin? Frankly, I believe it. This has been bothering me for seven whole years. And I'm tired of the whole youthful angst scene. Now's our chance. Let's clean out the family closet, eh, Christoph? Clavier, you're spinning out of control. Calm yourself before you say something you'll regret. Spinning out of whose control? Mine? Or yours? Take a moment to consider everything you've built. Your reputation as a prosecutor, your fame with the masses. You can lose it all, Clavier. Oh, did you see that? He's trying to press Prosecutor Gavin. Prosecutor Gavin, try to remember what's really important to you. Ah, you amuse me, Herr Forehead, truly. I couldn't forget what's really important to me, even if I tried. Ah. In fact, I haven't. Not even once. Seven years ago. Seven years ago, I installed Flappy Bird. Right before they removed it. <laughs> Finally. You just couldn't resist, could you? Hell right. Resist what? Having solid evidence? Might I request that we put the current cross-examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness. Waji, here's your redemption arc. State your name and occupation for the record. <laughs> yeah, there, there's my redemption arc. <laughs> Man, what a redemption arc. Encore, encore. I can't believe you would do him dirty like that. Thank you, UA. You I, absolutely I, destroyed my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually almost There's your fainted. redemption arc. I almost faded. <laughs> He's your I'm, familiar. I'm familiar with the trial. I've watched the video several times, and once with Mr. Wright. Don't make me watch that again, that was a nightmare. Ladies and gentlemen, new way. New way, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Also, I must add, considering we're talking about that video, Prosecutor Gavin, I remember in that trial, you mentioned that the color of pee was green. Would you like to respond? <laughs> For the record, I am still not entirely convinced that it is not colored green. Noted. <laughs> Truly noted. We can move swiftly on from this. Hey, Josh, this Nine, nine's dead right later. now. We don't have a streamer. Right, right now, we have a criminal to apprehend. You can blame Mr. Wright. He's the one that begged me to ask you this. <sighs> oh, All right. As amusing as always. I'm just doing my job. Okay. Nine's dead right now. <laughs> She's not with us anymore. <laughs> you Good work, her. Apollo. Yeah, I could count on you. You are fully full blooded, after all. You better give me overtime for this. Oh, all right. But just this once. <laughs> Didn't you find anything unnatural about it? A natural oh. <laughs> about P? What are we talking about? Well, you did seem unusually well prepared. I mean, Mr. Rye had only just presented his evidence. <laughs> and the next moment, Solia ended up dying of <laughs> I don't know. She <laughs> did, uh, so no. do, you think? do you need a minute? Think? We need to take five. We could do that. Take All five. Right, uh, nine. Try calling. Cough it out. Cough. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay. I can't believe Nine laughed the hardest out of me getting embarrassed and <laughs> shafted by UA. Dude. 
Are you making her laugh again? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, I don't know how she's feeling, but I almost fainted, so. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, yeah, beat up, beat up on the guy who didn't get the voice of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, pull yourself together. It's the end of Apollo Justice. We got a job to do. Yeah. Right, listen, listen. No, nine. Listen, it's fine. No, nine. You got a redemption. <laughs> No, now nine, I'm gonna need you to take this seriously, okay? Okay, okay. Now nine, you don't have to take it seriously, but I would very much like for you to at least now move nine. it along. Okay. I would really, I really wish you would take this attorney stream seriously. Right, sorry. Sorry. You know, I some of us have lives to get back to nine. <laughs> sorry. And the next, in the next moment, the you hour. call in Drew Mission. It was almost as if. Almost as if, what? Funny, it didn't even occur to me to wonder. I'm sorry, where were we at? No, we're fine. No, no, what are we doing? <laughs> we're very really okay. good. Sorry, we're good. I, just, I just wanted to know where we were. But now that I do, I see there's only one possible explanation. You're guilty. Almost as if from the very beginning, you knew Mr. Wright was going to present that evidence. Oh, e. Correct. Ah. I know that if I applied the usual pressure, Phoenix Wright would eventually come up with that forged diary page. Don't do that, Clavier! <clears throat> I know, because you told me, Kristoff! What? What? <laughs> it was the night before the trial. <laughs> Clavier? Christoph, I would see you at the prosecutor's office the day before the trial. Ah, oh, I won't be appearing at the trial, actually. Uh, huh? Why not? I won't be facing off with you on your first trial, apparently. But in exchange, I brought information. Information? The attorney who will be there in my place tomorrow is not to be trusted. Don't even give him the benefit of your respect. Listen, I want you to call in a special witness. Then... Embarrass him online. I wondered about it at the time. Oh my god, Kristoff cancelled Phoenix Wright! How did well, Kristoff know so much? Clavier, yeah, that's, yeah. Prosecutor that's... Gavin. Got him cancelled. Kristoff! We were supposed to face each other in that trial. A fair fight, brother to brother. I deserved that much. You let me borrow the victim's belongings. You showed me all your research on the case. The victim's belongings? Which would have included Magnify's diary, wouldn't it? Mr. Gavin! My, my, Clavier, you disappoint me. You find trees, yet miss the forest. You're the one missing the forest, Mr. Gavin. <clears throat> you can't sweep this under the rug. Not anymore. Rud. Tell me what was going on behind that trial. Why not? I've achieved what I came here to do. I see no harm in a little reminiscing. Apollo! I think we're finally going to shine a light on the black belly of this thing, Trucy. We've done everything we could. I hope it's enough. Seven years ago, the day before the trial. I visited the detention center at the request of my client, Zach Gramery. Two cards. One card. Showdown time. Enough. You lose, Gavin. Thanks for the work. Now go. To be 
be honest, I don't know what his reasons were to this day. As far as I could tell, and I took he that dismissed personally. me as his representation because I lost in a game of poker. I can come up to no other conclusion. Daddy used to say something. <clears throat> My throat dead. If you want to know a man, you have to compete. Zack wasn't watching his points or the cards. He was watching the man behind the cards, Kristoff Gavin. I couldn't believe it. Phoenix writes. A second-rate attorney who relies on luck and bluffs! He dismissed me and went for that pitiful excuse for a man! He deserved to die for that error alone! <laughs> Hold it! So, the one who requested that forgery was... Oh, I'm not admitted to anything. My point is, these two men shamed me. I could not forgive that. Um, is this like a motive or something? This sounds like a motive. This Phoenix is definitely a motive. and Zach Granbury both deserve what they got. So you asked Mr. Misham to forge that evidence. So you could win. But then... You were dismissed as Zach Grammary's attorney. You use your forged evidence as a trap. You fed me information about the forgeries that you made. Then you gave your dirty evidence to him. You're free to imagine what you will. <laughs> well ripped. Well <laughs> ripped. My point is that all I had imagined came to pass. Everything went perfectly. So is that a confession of murder? <laughs> oh, incredible. If I wasn't laughing, I'd weep. Prosecutor Gavin! Perfectly. <laughs> You're mad, Christoph. Stop fooling yourself. What are you talking about, Clavia? Tell me, how did that trial end? Cancelled when the defendants vanished. And I read that uh, Twitter log post that got, uh... That got him cancelled. I saw the tweet longer on <laughs> Phoenix Wright. I can't believe he would do that. Uh, I'd like to admit I that did. I had Ben's Rhea for murder, but I'd like to also not admit anything. <laughs> on the chat. <laughs> uh, I get it. So, Christoph. You've been living in fear for seven years. What? You are afraid your forgery would be revealed, and your reputation trashed. You couldn't leave things to chance. So you watched everyone involved with the case for seven years. You know, he always felt like he was being watched. That's what he said, every day for seven years. But I felt it too! Generally sure he is being watched, in quotes! Don't you wonder why Zach Grammy got rubbed out after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? Wait just a minute. Zach Grammary was seen by this reporter. How was that possible? Was he alive after being gone seven years? Finally. N n no, your honor. He just, he, uh, his body was just found seven years ago with no rotting whatsoever. So of course he didn't die. Oh, that makes sense. I've seen that happen before. I have personal experience with that. <laughs> yeah. See, this, I knew this moment was coming. I just didn't think we'd get here so fast. Zach Grammary, gone missing for seven years. Trucy's father. What's wrong, Apollo? Go get him! Right. Leave it to me. You can do hey, Polly. You've grown, and I'm proud of you for that. I feel full-blooded now. I still have no idea what that means, but you go for it! Me either! 
Allow me to refresh the court's memory. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. I remember him quite well. Shady Smith, was it? Why is the picture looking away? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be involved in this. <laughs> Listen, I'm supposed to be dead. I don't want to be involved in this right now. I was just Boys. rest in peace. Let me rest in peace, please. Oh, is that my daughter? Poison in a Chinese restaurant! Tragic! The details don't really matter right now. What matters is that traveler was Zach Grammary! What? What is it, Apollo? Huh? Keep going! We'll talk about it later, it's fine. Look, just be the protag that you were meant to be, I believe in that! Right! Did... she already know? Someone please explain this! Mr. Justice, can you explain this? Tell me right now! It all started seven years ago. Uh... A great magician, Magnify Grammary's death, started it. Magnify Grammary's death and his student, Zach Grammary, the suspect. Whoever defended Zach in court successfully will be famous beyond belief. Thinking that, Christoph Gavin did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. True! Joey Drew! Actually, it was his daughter, Vera, who really did the work. You took precautions when you had that forgery made, didn't you, Mr. Gavin? Precautions? To keep people from talking, of course. These two know too much. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when you planned your poisoning of the forgers. Why was it green? Atroquinine. Applied to a commemorative stamp. But, luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. His daughter. She saved her by taking the stamp. I see. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The Arenadni nail polish. Of course. You noticed something when you requested that forgery. When Vera Misham is nervous, she had a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. Oh! That nail polish was her good luck charm. There you go! There you go! Redemption she arc! Almost, she was almost kidnapped once. Since then, she's been, well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. Percy. Good luck, Charm. But I absolutely had to go. Yes, apparently she received something. A gift. She won't tell me what it was. It was from that client, the one who wanted a note made. Let the chat know that I hate you, eh? <laughs> it was his insurance. Insurance? As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. What if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And then the nail polish would do the rest. This time bomb sat there for seven years. And then, they went off almost simultaneously. If you're finished, May I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. You're an attorney. Mr. Gavin! Have you heard a single thing we've said? Oh, I listen quite closely to your little tale. Quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier, surely you understand. <sighs> 
We're back to the evidence. The lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the atrocinines that took Joey through his life. Objection! What about the restaurant? You killed Zach Grimmery! To keep her from talking! <laughs> I killed him no man of that name. Read over the reports again if you like. The victim was a traveler by the name of Shady Smith, about whom we know little else. You can't seriously think I knew he, that he was that particular fugitive? The shadow moved. <laughs> Objection! Okay, then why did you kill him? I plead my right to, re to remain silent. Remember, this court did not convene to put me on trial. The defendant's name is Vera Drew, suspe suspected in the murder of her father. My trial's been finished for six months now. <laughs> Soya. Mm, I'm afraid we have a stray concern uh -oh, no, no, for no, no, about the here. <laughs> yeah, that was me, right? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I sound like nine. This court concurs with the witness. It is defendant Vera Drew who is on trial here. No! But you were doing so well, Apollo! You were, you were about to be the protag! As long as there's no evidence to support the accusation against him, this course of inquiry cannot find Vera Drew innocent. Objection! No! Your Honor, Phoenix Rice spent seven years collecting this evidence! Objection! Oh. You still don't get it, do you? Ah! Let us assume there was poison in the nail polish. Who then was responsible for causing their mission to bite her nails? What? It wasn't me, I know that much. The one who brought that poison to her lips was you. What? What? Apollo Justice, you're guilty, simple as. No! I'm not guilty. Simple as. I believe this discussion has reached its conclusion. Y your Honor! Mr. Justice, you have performed admirably well for a novice attorney. I respect your partner, Phoenix Wright's determination as well. However, without direct proof, you have nothing. Isn't that right, Clavia? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, Christoph. You're right. That is, you would have been right until now. <sighs> what? Oh, did the news not reach your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. I forgot. The jurist system. J jurists, you say? The current judicial system has been deemed too closed off from society. This new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law. Common citizens? Wisdom? Is this some kind of joke? What could we possibly gain by doing this? Entrusting our judicial system to a mindless, emotional mob of irrational mouth breathers? Common citizens have something called common sense. I wish that was true. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I can't. If only. If only. If only. <laughs> Only an ace attorney. Yeah, but you know, considering how a lot of the um, witnesses and the killers act, common sense does seem like a superpower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense! There's only room for two in this court! Me and the law! Um, there's like three other individuals here, which is the defense, the prosecution, and the judge. Let him talk, let also... him talk, Trucy. Let him talk, Trucy. Oh, okay. Keep the riffraff out! Out, I say! 
They're not in the court, actually. They're watching everything <laughs> on my video camera. They're just looking at Clavier. <laughs> Clavier's just like, stands who up. Being... <laughs> who put that camera there? <laughs> oh, I, I did not realize that we are doing a collab right now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is, this, Apollo, new, is this the new sponsor? Have, have they That's been recording great. my good side? Oh, yeah. Apollo's sprite looks amazing there. And then there's Trucy. She's there. She's there. Christoph needs eyes on the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got the whole squad <laughs> laughing. <laughs> you allow this. Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen was Phoenix Wright. F F Phoenix. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> Prepare! <laughs> so, down my volume. everything was leading to this, of course. Right. Right. Get down, Trucy! I won't accept! I can't accept! This is no court! Law! The law is everything! Law is absolute! You let ignorant swine soil your courts! Christoph. It's over. G Glavia! The law is absolute. You can't be serious. What? Odd. Oh, I thought you spent your life looking for loopholes. The law isn't absolute. It's filled with contradictions. That's how you get loopholes in the first place. The law is the end product of many years of history. The fruit of human knowledge. Like a gem, polished to a gleam through trials and errors. It is this fruit we receive and pass on. Oh, I- oh, oh my god, I think it rot, hold on. Not that fruit. This fruit! Pass on and face in our time! It is always changing, growing, nurturing it is our task as human beings. Except for you, Christoph. You aren't changing. You've stopped. Just run the fruit on my desk, get it off. You're not needed anymore. I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday, I'll know what law is. And I'll fight to change it if I have to. For I am now full blooded! For what now? Oh, well, I see no need to further prolong this trial. This began as the trial of Vera Drew, accused of murdering her father. The painter, Drew Drew, I mean Joey Drew, however, several other incidences we reviewed, and we seem to have reached a conclusion. For this court declares a verdict, I await your decision, viewer, jurist of the court. For the death of Dr uh, Joey Drew, how do you find the defendant, Vera Drew? Innocent or guilty? Like, if she's innocent, subscribe if she's guilty. <laughs> I turn to you now to consider this matter. <laughs> Is this thing on? October 9th, 12.48 p.m. Jurist Chambers. This is Phoenix. Oh, right. <clears throat> you can't save it now? Oh, that's a rip. <laughs> this ends the trial for this case. Only the verdict remains to be decided. Defendant Vera Drew is currently in intensive care. Yar. If a decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? 
If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Drew's death? Did another person poison him? If so, she is innocent. A panel has been provided for each of you to input your decisions. That is all. Solia. <clears throat> Please, wait. Yes, Juris number six? There's something in the jurist's handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. <sighs> that is correct. I've looked into all your dossiers. None of you were involved in the development of this case. With the development of the case? Oh, I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdicts. Make your decision in the case against Vera Drew. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely. Judge well. So, I didn't break the space-time continuum, that's all fine? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, you, you're good. Vera Misham. Guilty? Or not guilty? Doing guilty's not worth it this stream. No. Not worth it? Not worth no, it. Not, not worth it. Not worth it? So not we all think she's guilty? That's not... That's not at all what we, we all, said. We all, we all think she's guilty? No! No! You know, you've already made the mistake of hitting something you didn't mean to hit once in the past. Don't do it now. Nice. Look, if it were <laughs> anyone else, I wouldn't be worried, but you are a known klutz. Listen. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no I'm not. not. <laughs> Stop, Listen, Nick, stop Mike. saying that. You're going to make don't her forget. You're... Don't forget how many times we've all collectively said, what did you do? Okay. Look at our names. Okay, nine. Okay. Let me don't, change nine, it just here. Nine. Hold hey, on, nine, hold pick on, hold the on, right hold choice. On, hold on, hold on. The right nine. choice. Oh, my Lord. You pick the right choice. The right choice. Oh, the right nine. one? Okay, the right so choice. Nine. Yeah, the right choice. This one. Nine. Yeah, the right one. Nine. Go with your heart. Go with my heart. Nine. Here's Heart the of the cards? Heart of the cards? Here's the question here, Nine. Heart of the cards? What can you do? What can I do? I mean, I can confirm if she's either guilty or not guilty. <sighs> what do you what do you want to do that, though? Do I want to do that? I mean, bits and lore. Would you guys want this stream to continue on forever? We could do this in the next... Uh... <laughs> there, there's zero lore to glean from a guilty verdict. It's very depressing and sad. But is well, do you want to do you lore. want to be the one that the and it ends in, your and it, audience? It ends in a game over. We'd have to restart from our last save. Well, there is auto sitting. saves, to be fair. I'm not sitting here. I'm not sitting here for that. If you end up hitting guilty and it restarts us, I'm gonna go do something I'm else. I'm out, yeah. I'm out too. <laughs> Don't it deletes you our save dare. file. It will delete your save file, yeah. Don't do it. The auto save? Yes. Don't Wait, do really? it. Yes! Don't do it! <laughs> Nine for the love Fine. of God, that is highly. Fine. I'm here for a okay. right. <gasps> Lame. Lame. A bracelet. Lame. And so uh, think, a verdict yeah. was reached on October 9th of 2.14 p.m. The first verdict under the jurist system. Innocent by unanimous decision. The record will show that when the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. And laughed louder than any ever heard before. A laugh that echoed in the halls of justice, lingering for what seemed like hours. You picked the wrong one. October 10th, 8.30 a.m., the morning after the trial. In an intensive care ward, a true miracle occurred. Vera Drew opened her eyes. And died. October 10th, 10.12 a.m., Bickfield Clinic. 
Sora! I'm so glad! I... Don't cry, Apollo! I'm happy too! And proud! You did well, Apollo! When I thought about... What if... Vera... I... Hey now, don't you start crying too! Uh... Sorry you had to see us like this. You thought you died. Vera? Thank you so much. Apollo, thank you. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pressed you like that. Actually, um, Lazu, you didn't have, get a character. Would you want to, um, <laughs> voice Vera? Become woman? You're eating a cookie? <laughs> he's, he's eating. Okay, so, so that's a no. Press on. That's a not yet. Uh, you should have taken Drew Mitchum. If if I hadn't, if I hadn't, you never would have bitten your nails. No, I was wrong. Staying locked inside like that, clinging to my good luck charm. Vera. When I opened my eyes, saw you, finally understood. It's important to be part of the world. Probably has a corpse. No, nope. that's not how that works. It looks like the poison had some effect after all. <laughs> it killed off whatever was holding Vera back from life. Uh, I ignoring that last statement, I, I knew you'd pull through, Vera. I Wait, mean, is the, is that's the, what... Is the, is the game implying that the poison killed her depression? It, it's just a metaphor. Yeah. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting for the whole time. Your Terrible. future! I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. No, really, it's okay. Oh, look! It's me! I love it! Thanks! <laughs> Is that... me? She really captured your essence, Apollo! Well, I think so, at least. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? The other lawyer? Oh, you mean you... Daddy! Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? Sorry. Oh! No, 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 no! That's not what I meant! No, it's okay. Through looking away from the things I've done. Hope I can look at him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He brought all those things for me. He came to visit earlier. You mean that stack of videos? So I right finished watching them all? You know, I knew my real daddy was alive. Huh? I was there. Seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. You... you did what? What? How? I'm not telling! He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time, Trucy. But know this, I will be watching, and one day I shall return. Dead. You are the next Grammary, after all. <laughs> Oh, Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix is my daddy now. Even if he can't really play the piano. I was totally abandoned as a kid, wasn't I? And he can't. Oh, and I've got you too. Even if your voice is kind of loud sometimes. Glad I made your list. Hey, come to think of it. Where is daddy? The one who can't play. Do you know Apollo? I think he said he had to, he had to meet someone. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's a new mommy. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Trucy. Hmm? Yes, Vera? I was wondering. Would you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, was it? Oh, he's not been knighted! Yet! 
Here goes. Do us an impersonation, Mr. Hat. Objection. <laughs> Not loud enough. <laughs> and I like Miss Magic Pants better anyways. That's right, Apollo, but don't be mean to Mr. Hat. <laughs> Spaghetti? So, your memories returned. Mr. Wright, was this all part of your plan too? <sighs> I have no clue what you're talking about. Spaghetti. When I lost my memory, I was reborn as Lamoror. But you know my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. Ah, uh, you're just thinking into it too much. Hot sides. There was no guarantee that regaining your memory would even make you happy. Of course, it is a happy thing. Okay, regaining memory sucks. For so long, I thought I was alone. But now I know I have children. Two dear children. It's so unfortunate, but I'm so proud of them. <laughs> oh, wow! It's very unfortunate, but you know those two I are guess... my kids, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, unfortunate. Mm, uh, man, if only they had someone in their lives. <laughs> man, if only they had like, some, like a mother. Oh wait. <laughs> da oh wait. wait. Oh damn it. I, I suppose they could have a father. And oh wait. Oh. Uh, mm. At least they're not Viltrum. Oh, wait. Mm. Low blow. But this, too, I think, is thanks to you. So, you gonna tell them? Nah. They do not know? Nope. They don't know their mother. And I'm partially convinced that none of them believe me when I try to tell them they're nearly full blooded. They don't even know their siblings come to me think of it. I will go tell them when the time is right. Until then, I... Don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. Spaghetti. They're... They're pretty important to me, too. I adopted one of them. They're a little annoying at times, but still. And I think I might adopt the other one. <laughs> Have to keep an eye on her. At least. No, we are, we are, we are keeping Trucy. We are keeping Trucy. Apollo can go, but we are keeping Trucy, right? <laughs> yeah, you had something against Polly, Rinosuke. No, but if we had to let one of them go, it would be Apollo. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, his programming should kick in in the next year or so. Next year or so. Probably, but no. With, with, that, that, that's all I'm. Fine, fine, whatever you say. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels on the inside. I Just understand. steal my lines. Because Just I know it. her! Okay, you t fine, you tell me then. What's Trucy's favorite food? Her favorite food? Spaghetti? It's very obvious if you know. Do you know her favorite food? Spaghetti. Oh, so, uh, so th you're telling me that you don't know your own daughter better than me, hmm? Spaghetti? You're being very aggressive. Because we're not giving away Trucy. Dot dot. I didn't think I was going to. Spaghetti? I apologize for the awkward silence. I was consulting a bit of a... I was consulting a real sore loser about something. Hey! Anyways, your bracelet. I was really yes. hoping. You know, I've seen a lot of mysterious things these past seven years. But you know, your bracelets are perhaps the strangest thing I've seen yet. There he is. I remember meeting him half a year ago now in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you. Two fates destined to intertwine, and I was there when they crossed. 
I'll never forget that. Such a small thing, yet that bullet. It tore away, tore who I was away. Plus gave me an accent from what I remember by my time in Borginia. But ten years ago, during a simple rehearsal, it was a miracle that no one died. But I didn't survive that accident. That is why I left the troop. My family. <laughs> now my memory has returned. I am myself once more. For the first time. Glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Now I got to change this accent. Speaking of miracles... Vera Drew regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is... a strange thing, right? Sometimes a life is taken. Sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. <laughs> As long as they've got something worth living for. People don't die. And that's pretty much the end of my story. For yeah, now. Okay. Anyway. okay, buddy. I've still got a long way to go. You still got and two more wow, games. Okay. This needs it, work. It, it, that... But there's hope now. We've lost him. It's time I found it again. again. It's all that's swirling. why some people are smiling again. Hope. Yeah, I think I'll keep this, up this lawyer thing for a while. Oops. Training time. Gotta go. Cords of steel. Here comes justice. Objection! Yay! Yay! <clears throat> I'm glad you're staying with the agency, Apollo. It's like... Like I found my long-lost big little brother. Oh, and don't you worry about Troop Grammar Gatorade. Trissy's on the case! Now that, I, now that I have this, thanks to Daddy. Trissy Grammar, eh? Frankly, I got my doubts. But hat grammary, now that'll pack him in. Oh, Jesus, Trucy. Yo, 3D. That's how it was in the original. Yo, German. It's not every day you'll get a tryout that rocks harder than one of our gigs, yeah? That's why it's over. The Gavinez are breaking up. The news caused a run on tissues at supermarkets nationwide. And toilet paper as well. You're the real stars now. I look forward to our next jab session. Make sure it doesn't catch on fire next time. Weren't they sepia tone in the DS version? Kinda, yes. Hmm. Kinda? <laughs> Was it like half sepia tone or something? Well, it's finally over. You know, thinking about it, I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. Now that everything's sorted and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll take some lessons. Or maybe I'll take the bar exam. Again. <laughs> take the bar exam, Mr. Wright. Take the bar exam. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess they can squeeze a few more games out of me. <laughs> I was standing around eating snackers the other day when I got this crazy idea. What if they were golden? You could augment the crunch or better yet, make them ding. Ah, the power of science. Although the preservatives might not be 100% safe. I think you should go back to Europe, Emma. <laughs> I think you should eat more snackers, Apollo. You should sell them in America. They'll, they'll take them, tested or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> was that ringing in game? The rain? I don't know. Ringing. It is raining Whatever. here. Bah. In an unlikely event, you are wanting Russian feast. Come to Bush Bull Club. The only thing colder than the restaurant in Bush. Da. But if greater challenge is being required. I'll kill you. Then come to the hideout. You know who to ask for. I'm just I here to pick up a crate of grape juice for Mr. Wright. Well, that will uh, <clears throat> That'll be, uh, $50, da. When Emma brought up the golden snack, who was saying, saying, uh, making a ring, I literally heard the ringings of a bell or something. <laughs> You're hot. Dang. Who is this? 
Who was this? It wasn't me. So, Cathartic Price Race is getting back on its eastern roots. Spread the culture and all. Your boss, culture time! Oh, this guy. This is how we drive. Root. Capish. Capish. I thought it was still about bringing back, to, bring, giving back to the people. Your boss, pure time! <laughs> And this is how we write people, all right? Not well, that walkie's paying any attention. Oh, kids. Thanks? I think this Mr. Justice fellow, he's gonna need some help in the coming trials ahead. A little bit of help. I think I'll yeah, lend him But sorry! Chinese characters are a with a fly idea like 3,000 years ago! Believe that! Man, you wanna make it today? You gotta keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why I made the OG cracker for real. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like no cracker. Gee, what, what do you want to call it? The OG muffin? And then I get banned from Twitch, the end. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Well, that's actually a better name for it, to be fair. Are you insulting my food, Mr. Justice? No. I don't know where all this talk about food is coming from. You ask me, there's only one food, and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one too. See, this time I just put on a big chunk of salt in the bowl. Why well, pretend? Every dude's noodles is out the salt. Salt forever. I'll take a bowl. Without the salt. Also American. <laughs> With all the salt. Uh, I guess hard. He just, he just puts a giant Himalayan pink salt thing on it. <laughs> My exceptionally inquisitive nature has won me an unequivocal, unequivocal adoration of the... You see, they used to call me Wesley Stinkler and Wesley Sticky Hands. But no longer. I have a new name. One that reflects my true academic nature. Wesley Sickle reporting. Yes, curiosity is a sickness, and I am the cure! Stay in school, kids. Wesley Sicko. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go sicko mode. It, it's it's sicko time. <laughs> he just sickoed all over those guys. You're up. There, that, that, that's where Rienosuke came in. It's the Europe part. You're up. Don't know how to thank you for all you've done. Light has returned to, to my life, and with it, joy. I may have lost years, but I have gained a treasure. Two treasures, in fact. I will think of them when I write my next song. And I'm very close to losing this accent. Very soon. Well, it's a good thing you never have to voice her again. That's true. I will never exist again. Well? And then, and then they forgot she Actually, no. 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 Brushel, brushel, brushel. Brushel, brushel, brushel. Brushel here. Back on the beat with another interview. Hey. How do I feel about how things turn out? No scoop yet, but journalist confidence in mint condition. Yeah, but what did you do to get in prison? You'll have to voice her again. Russell? No. Never more. I've decided to keep painting. Originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to see a bit of the world outside to find what to paint. But I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. Door is open. World is waiting. Thank you. Yo. Chu Takumi, the man, the myth, the legend. Yo, it's them. Hey, it's them. that's me. And that's Phoenix. Oh wait, no, that's Trick. Hey! Oh! Yay! That looks Damn. sweet. What? Whoa! Oh, I you from... don't get to see it again. Nope. Go to the gallery, I guess. Gotta go to the. Not yet. Continue no. the next game. Continue the. Uh, no, 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 no! It, it, you, you, it, it's through that menu. You, you, it's the fourth option. The fourth quote-unquote game. Game selection of museum. Oh right. Uh. Oh game. Menus are hard. Just, just, just go back out. one. Go back one. Q. Set music background. R. No, just R. 
Warning, this museum contains spoilers. That's fine. We know what happens anyway. Yo, spoilers. Phoenix Wright's in this game. <laughs> uh, uh, visual illustrations, I think. Mm. Oh, no? no? It's a Wait. background. It's a background. I tried oh. telling you this, but you kept talking over me. No. Nope. Okay, there we go. Just... Uh, I think. Um... Uh-oh. You were saying, uh -oh. Uh oh. No, it's like a background for the menu. Go back. Oh, oh here, here. here. Wait. There you go. There's Wait. that. Wait. Hey, there, there we go. Hey, hey yeah. look at that. It's also a background. Oh, that's you can a, set it as your look how like, clean Phoenix background if you want. So Phoenix's face is so clean in this illustration. He doesn't have a hat. No, they he shaved. Yep. He shaved his hat off. And the bracelet sucks though. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, bracelet could be a little better, but Set it as the ba uh, main menu background for it. You can do that. It said it was an option for it. I'm pretty sure. No, go 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 back. Go back. Go back. Go go back to the. One more. Go 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 back. Fully go back. Go back. 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 Okay. No 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 no. Back again. No no no. Uh, it don't no, that's fine. Just just let, let me let me guide her here. <laughs> Game selection. Oh, okay. Welcome to. Her. <laughs> Welcome to... Oh, okay. <laughs> No, okay. Welcome so like, yeah, get, welcome to Twitch game, yeah. Plays Ace Attorney. Okay, okay now, now it's set music. There. There we go. Oh, there's there another go. one. There's Without one. using story mode, complete every episode of all three games from the beginning of each episode via episodes or each game via new game online. Boy. So basically just beat the entire thing. Isn't that what yeah. we just did? No, the no, entire wait, 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 all, trilogy. All the games. Ah. Oh. All the games. Oh, okay. All five. Yay. There it is. There we go. Yay. Love it. All right. And in that case, I think it's safe to say we close with Apollo Justice, and next week we start Dual Destinies. Don't close on me. Close on him. My story is never. Close real. on him. He's not real. Apollo. Some. <laughs> Sometimes you have to understand that as a Viltramite, you must know when the curtains close. Well, it's not over yet. You're right. It's not. That's just the first chapter of my journey. It's yeah. not over yet, me yeah. boy. <laughs> but when will it be over? I don't know. Ask the streamer. And then everybody looks at the camera like back at the witness being like, well, Solia, when's, when's the highlight reel? <laughs> yeah, nine. <laughs> We've been waiting almost three years now, nine. Where is the highlight reel? <laughs> Where is the highlight reel, me boy? You promised it several years ago. Now I've been dead for several years and you still won't stop staring at me. <laughs> Let me rest and just bring in just Finished the highlight reel already. I told you, me boy, I will never be a memory. I will be part of this compilation. <laughs> <laughs> I will be part of these highlights, me boy. <laughs> I can I can only imagine that picture. Everybody in this call is like holding a, like a gun toward me and being like, "Solia, edit the highlight reel now." And I'm just there That's with like a, a nine millimeter like a laptop or something, like crying like. <laughs> Just edit. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, next week we start Dual Destinies. Otherwise, yeah. Tuesday we're I'm gonna continue Nino Kuni too because it's a fun game and y'all should Nino watch it because it's about the president. I'm not kidding. It's about the president. Nixon. It's fun. Y'all should watch. Ob Obama. You guys gotta find out next stream. Bush. <laughs> On Tuesday at 10 p.m. EST. So, uh, till next stream or video, see you all later. Bye bye! Bye, everybody. Everyone say bye. Say, say it bye. Okay. My, my, my throat is Bush not didn't need Okuni.
I genuinely, UA, had to turn down my headset volume, and you were still excruciatingly loud. <laughs> I I wonder how loud you could have truly been had I just not turned down my headset. That's um that echo effect I had on. Uh, the voice volume was set to seventy. Fun fact, truly. But anyways, uh, they all said bye. Now I actually will say bye. Goodbye.